It is Thursday the 24th of March 2022. A warm welcome to the channel and you may notice I'm not in my studio. I'm outside having a little bit of breakfast and a little bit of shopping. But we will get into the normal things today and without further ado let's hop into it right now. I really do need a haircut. I'm starting to look, I think, like Boris Johnson. Next Thursday, I think I'll go to the barbers and have a snip, maybe a nice crude cut. <laughs> Anyhow, it's baking hot outside, and this is sort of like a mixed bag of locations here in the studio, out and about in Siam Rip, Cambodia, and other things as well. What I wanted to start off with for today is related to the actual turbines and here is a picture I would like to show you of the turbine actually being installed into the Free Gorges Dam and this is if you look very closely if you look very closely you can see that this is being lifted in by a crane. This is only part of the turbine I can imagine this is possibly the top but uh, but I can't confirm this. I got this from National Geographic and I found it very interesting for it. The title of this show is The Big, The Bigger, The Biggest Dam and it really is the Free Gorges Dam. It truly is a marvel of modern technology, engineering. The principle is how it was built is a different style completely. Western standards, um, safety standards are remarkably high compared to China's standards which are, well, they are higher but they are not up to European or American standards so safety doesn't come into concern. If you see builders here for example it'd be very rare that they would wear a helmet or a visible jacket or even working boots it's mostly a straw hat t-shirt and slippers because of the heat and the regulations not just here but you could say in many places around the world it's not as tight as as you could say in England for example so how it's still standing yeah granted is really amazing after the punishment that it's had of the two decades of floods landslides, silt, erosion, earthquakes, etc. around the Three Gorges and you could say in, in the whole of China. It's pretty amazing stuff. I'm always constantly thinking for interaction with this channel and not always just about the Free Gorges Dam. Yes, I do cover a lot of it and it will be becoming more intense as the flood season just approaches. We do have the weather in a moment or two, but I'm thinking about doing a survey and a survey is related to um, Russia and Ukraine. Should I do it or shouldn't I do it? So I'm going to do a survey of should I do it or shouldn't I do it? And let's see uh, the reaction to it. Is it yes or is it no? Just be interesting. Do I, if, is it a crazy idea? Do I stay out of that kind of area? Just not go there and just concentrate on what I'm doing, which I'm sort of becoming a, a can I say, an expert over? Uh, this just digging up information for you to share. Sorry, to, so I can share this with you so we can keep an eye on the world's biggest dam that could end up as the world's biggest catastrophe more than any kind of thing that someone could fire at another person. This is the worst thing. This is China's Achilles heel. Okay, I think I'm going to go back outside now. So, let's have a look at the weather. I think today is going to be the beautiful weather. Now, some of you may be 
wondering about the video that I posted a little bit earlier today. Sorry about the noise, but I thought it'd be out and about. Why not? And with this um, lovely lady from Shenzhen with very, can I say, well, large assets. And it actually showed you the pandemic in Shenzhen. Now, this video does have a Creative Commons. In other words, I'm allowed to use it. She has given permission for it. And it's just giving you an insight. Yes, she is, can I say, doesn't like to wear too many clothes, putting it mildly, but very intelligent lady, really intelligent, and gives you an outsight and what's happening in China. So that's why I put it, yeah? Information, and information is power. Let's move on to something else. Now, let's have a quick look at the levels. Could be higher, could be lower. Place your bets right now. <laughs> oh, good doggy. Bye bye. Oh. As always, thank you so much for your time. Do, don't forget that like and subscribe and all that kind of malarkey. Look, my breakfast has just come right there. Delicious. And I will see you hopefully tomorrow. Be good, be well, be safe. Thank you. Bye bye. Just before we go, <laughs> I did make a street video of Siam Rip, and this is just a video recording of my girlfriend Sophie and I sitting in a little cafe in Siam Rip. It is actually called the Little Cafe in Siam Rip. For those people here, it's on Tapol, Tapol, T A P H U L, something like that, Tapol Street. And the whole meal that we had was round about $9.60, which was, uh, what did I have? I had a bacon and cheese baguette and some crepes, crepe, crepe Suzettes, and Soapy had some fried rice with some meat and some mango, etc., and two soft drinks. I had a lime soda and she had a mango shake, so $9.60, pretty good. This is it and I will put this later on the full sort of like 18 minutes edition you can use it free of charge you can use it as background you can use it as you want you can just leave it as background at a party for example and you can just see life go by in Cambodia I think I'm going to go now and you can see a snippet of that I'll see you tomorrow bye bye <laughs> So which one you like apple ball movie, apple ball picture? I like this. Yeah, but look at the back one. Mm. Are you want this? That's better. Have another one, I think. Pop straight. be clear because you see Toby's dark. Okay. Huh? He's dark.